All right, guys, welcome to the channel. I want to talk about supercharging today. I'm in my 2015 Model S. This is the P85D. A 2015 car uh, it doesn't have, can't take advantage of like the fastest charging speeds, like the 250 kilowatt superchargers. Uh, back when this car was made, the, te te the fastest superchargers there were were the 150 kilowatt chargers, but those 150s, they split the charge between two chargers. So really, you're only getting about 75 kilowatts per charger on the older systems. So that's why Tesla usually says or recommends that when you pull into a supercharger, leave space between charger stalls so that way that the you know the, the charging can be um, focused right on one car and not split between two chargers. Now on these new superchargers, the V2 superchargers, they're the 250 kilowatt ones. Uh, those, it doesn't matter. They, they give 250 at each stall, so it doesn't matter if you're right next to someone. So let me, I wanna show you, we're gonna, I'm gonna pull into a supercharger here. Uh, this car has the free supercharging for life. So for the life of the car, I can go to any supercharger as frequently, as much as I want and charge. I like this one here. Uh, this one's actually right next to a Costco. So when we're going to Costco, we take this car, we go down uh, to the supercharger and park at the supercharger while we're in Costco. So it's pretty cool. Let me show you on the map how we uh, find the supercharger locations. So what you want to do is you want to tap, if you tap on the screen, it's going to show up. There's, there's a little uh, little bar that pulls up on the side. The bottom icon is a little charging icon, a little lightning bolt. If you if you select that, it's going to give you all the superchargers in the area that are within. I mean, there's some that are even like 60 miles away, but it'll show the closest down to the furthest one away. If you see right next to the name here, it's going to show if it has 250 or 150, like what the charging speed is going to be. Um, we're going to go to a 250 kilowatt one, and I want to show you what the charging speeds we get with this car. So with our list of superchargers here, I'm going to touch on this one. This one's the one by the Costco. You see it's two 250 kilowatt max. When you do navigate to a supercharger, though, it does preheat. It'll start conditioning the battery. So I always recommend that if you're going to the supercharger, navigate to the supercharger, even if you know where it's at. So that way that the car knows that it's going to be supercharged, it'll start preheating the battery. So I've just been driving for just a couple of minutes, navigating to my site. You can see here that it's preconditioning for fast charging. So it heats the battery. The, the warmer the battery, if it's preconditioned, it's going to be able to get a faster charge. All right, I'm just pulling into the supercharger here, and I want to see on the screen here it says there's four available. If I touch on that, it like it seems like you have to touch on it to update. It says there's four. Um, let's see how many we got here. There's one, two. On this one here, we want to go. To the All right, when you get the supercharger, you just come. This handle looks that looks broken. Let's see if this is actually going to work. See how that prong right there is like is like wiggly. Yeah. This thing looks beat up. Do I dare stick it in? Blue flashing means it's communicating. We'll see if it actually. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's charging. Let's see what the speeds are. All right, so my battery is just under 50% right now. And uh, if you see here, it's charging, but I'm only charging at like 56 kilowatts. I don't know if that's because of that broken plug or if, um, if that's just limiting because of my... It should charge. It should, it should at least be at like 75 kilowatts right now. I wonder if we got a faulty supercharger here. Because this has free supercharging and I want as much time as I can get, I want to increase. So I just go to the charging screen here, the little lightning bolt, and then I increase how much I want to charge up to. I'm going to charge all the way to 100%. I probably won't get to 100%. I'm only going to be in Costco for 30 minutes or so. But it does show over here on the gauge cluster, it shows how much time is remaining. So at this speed, it's going to get a, it's going to be an hour and 20 minutes to get to 100%. That's like... So that's basically adding 50% to my battery, which that's that's a lot, long time just to add 50% of this battery. But you can see it's only charging at 53 kilowatts. So I guess we'll just kind of see how it goes. All right, guys. So back here, uh, just looking at my car speeds here, I gained 90. If you can see here, I gained 95 miles. I'm at 17 kilowatts right now. Uh, full my battery would be about 230 miles. So I'm, I'm probably 90 to 95% full. But when you get full... It starts throttling down the the kilowatts per hour that you're getting you're charging at. Uh, it almost feels like I was getting limited charge to begin with, at only getting around 50 kilowatts, which was really low. 
All right, guys, so that supercharging session was kind of interesting. There's, there's a couple things that might have happened. I'm curious. Leave your comments down below if you guys, uh, what you guys suspect. But option one is that the charging cord cable was broken. You saw how that was kind of loose inside the charging plug. I wonder if that was broken, if I was only getting half the power. I don't know. I only charged maximum of like 50 kilowatts per hour, and it started going down to 35, down to 20. And then when I got back to the car, it was down to 17 kilowatts per hour, so really slow. I charged for almost 50 minutes guys 50 minutes and I got about 40 40 to 45 percent of my battery regained which um, really is not that fast it's really you know it, it is the top half of my battery and that does go slower than the bottom half but still 50 minutes to get 45 percent charge is, was pretty slow the other thing I'm wondering if that I'm suspecting is if Tesla is limiting or throttling the free supercharging cars like this 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 Model S a lot of uh, older Model S's some Model X uh, SUVs, they have uh, the free supercharging for life, which this car does. Uh, I'm wondering if I'm getting that limited, throttled down, reduced down by Tesla. I wonder if that's the cause of that. It doesn't make sense that they would do that because it, what it's going to do is it's just going to cause like cars like mine to stay at the charger stall longer and clog up the charging stalls for other cars to use. You think Tesla want, wants these cars to get charged and get out of there as soon as possible to free up more spaces for other cars. And then the other option is that that was just a normal charging experience and that everything was fine. I just would, because I had half of a battery that I just got a slower speed because I already had half, about half battery and it took about 50 minutes to charge up to about 95%. So um, I'm curious to see what you guys think if that's the case. I was reading some forum posts online and it seemed like that uh, there was a couple guys that commented that once they reached almost 11,000 kilowatts of free supercharging use that Tesla would throttle down their how, how fast they would charge. Um, I'm curious to know if you guys know anything more about that, if there's any experience or first-hand experience with that. I'm, I'm hoping that, that I'm able to supercharge this car and it's able, I'm able to use this because that's one of the benefits to having an older Tesla is the free supercharging for life. I can technically road trip this car at no cost to charge it by using the Tesla supercharging network, but if they're going to throttle it down and limit it to where the point where it becomes excruciating to use, I won't use it and it just kind of makes it a not that beneficial. I hope they don't do that. I hope it doesn't get worse. I hope that it at least maintains the level that it has been in the past. But guys, anyways, hopefully this you found this interesting or, or informational. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Leave your comment down below. Subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.